What's up guys, we're back with another video. And in this video, we're doing a challenge. And in this challenge, um, it's basically Instagram um, choosing my fishing lure um, for the day. Um, so basically, um, I go into my suggested post page and the first post there, um, I look at the amount of likes and basically um, the first digit is how many aisles I go down. The second digit is how far I go across. And the third digit is how much I go down. And then whatever it lands on, whatever lore it lands on, is what lore I'll be using for the day. You'll understand it more when um, we get into the clips of me in the store and stuff. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. All right, guys, we're here at the uh, suggested posts here, all the way at the end of my feed. Um, I already explained to you guys what I'll be doing. Um, so first post, fishing post. Um, it's from Scott Martin Challenge. Um, nice little large amount there. Um, so this has 10,151 likes. So we're going to be going on aisle 10. We're going to go across 15 and then down one. And then that's going to be the bait that we choose. Um, so you'll, you guys will get it more once we get into the store and I actually show you. It's not going to be that hard to understand once I once you get a visual of it. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the store. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then next one here, 10. So now we're going to go across 15. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now we're gonna go down one. And looks like they're out there, so we're just gonna go across till we get the next bait. Right there. Uh flat nose minnow, six ninety nine. So we're gonna take that out onto the water and see um, if we could catch some drop shot fish. All right, we're over back at this pond. Water level definitely went up as well. The rest of the fish that were trapped in that tunnel hopefully got out. Uh, I'm gonna cast this around here. See if there's any hungry fish in this area right now. Oh, what the heck? Oh, never mind. Hopefully get on. Couple fish here. At least one or two fish, that's all I'm asking for. In this heat, this grass is gonna make it difficult. It's gonna keep tricking me. Got a fish. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's small. And there goes my minnow. Just saw it fly off. Oh man, dude. It's still a fish though. Dog days of summer like this. Take anything I could get. Hooked right on the side of the mouth right there. Perfect hook set right there. Small little guy. Let's get him back. These fish fight so hard in here. Sharp teeth, definitely feeding on some sort of bait fish. There he goes. Let's go. As I said, that definitely puts my confidence level up. Just a tad bit. The fact that this isn't as chocolate milky uh, also brings my confidence up a bit. Um, Cause you don't really have to just throw it in front of their face. They could see it too, so. So basically what I did there is I saw something smack the top, so I casted right there. And I don't know if that was the same fish that smacked, but we caught a fish, so. But let's cast back in that same area. See if we can get on another fish. feeding on minnows because um their teeth are usually very sharp in this pond so that 
they're probably feeding on minnows, bluegill, any bait fish. So this is a perfect imitator for this pond. Um, so let's make a few casts in this general area. Now we're trying the now we're trying the left side here. Um, I'm seeing way more fish smacking right here. So hopefully the fish smacking are hungry for a little minnow. Oh, there's a oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my worm, my freaking minnow just flew off again. Yo, that was sick. Right as I said that, he ate. It's another small one. Oh my gosh. He was stuck in all that grass. Probably the same size. Let's get that hook out. Perfect hook set. Get this guy. There we go. Second fish of the day. About the same size. Let's get him back in the water. Alright. If, if my minnows keep flying off. We're gonna have no more in that pack. They're li they literally each one has flown off each fish, so it's, I'm not I'm not complaining. They're probably hanging out near the shade too. There's a lot of grass here that they could hang out under. <laughs> and how I got that bite, I was wiping my leg off. There's bugs on there, so I paused it for a second. Then the second I started it up again, he ate it. I'm gonna keep making cast fish. I thought I was snagged in a rock. It's about the same size again. Oh, my minnow didn't fly off. This guy was hooked weird. He got like hooked. There's a hole in his mouth and he got hooked through there. So that was like an awkward, awkward to get out. He's bleeding a bit, not from the gills. Should be fine, hopefully. Uh, let's get him back. He's fine swim right away i mean apparently this uh, pond is filled with smaller fish but i mean i'm not complaining oh shoot that was a fish what the heck on the drop um i'm not complaining dog days of summer like this just gonna take what we get um make a few more casts over here then we'll move back to the right side maybe see what we could get on over there Oh my gosh, what the heck? That was another fish. He ate it on the drop again. What the heck? Is there the same fish hanging out there? That's a decent one too. Yo, that might be, that, I think that might be just be grass. First cast back in the spot where we caught our first fish. We're gonna work this back to me. See if, see if anything wants a bite in this area there's a fish oh my gosh this is small i think oh no i had a fish he was fighting that was definitely a fish he was bobbing his head fish Another small one. Wait. Oh, dude, come on. That's even smaller. Oh my gosh, dude. Even littler than what we've been catching. Getting back. They fight so hard, though. That thing was fighting like a half a pounder. They fight so freaking hard, dude. But let's get this back in the water. See if we can get on. Come on, all I'm at, at least a pound. At least a pound. I've caught, there's big, there's big fish in here. Not as big as the other pond, but there's fit big, bigger fish in here. They're just finicky all the time. We're back on the left side of the pond or the left side of this area here. See if the fish over here will get active again. Give that spot a little break. We'll try that for a little bit before we leave. Something just hit right there. 
Oh mate, there we go, like I said, right above it. Oh, dude, I think they're too small and they're not getting hooked fully. Oh, something just hit. If you guys saw that, there's a little ripple in the water. I just got bit. There's a fish. Please don't spit it. Oh my, that's fighting nice. Is it? Oh, definitely biggest one of the day. Not that one pounder, but just a little guy back. Biggest one of the day. Not saying much, but this I just realized the scent on this bait, like I'm not even joking. It smells like dog food. Like it smells so bad. Like, it smells like dog food. I'm not even joking. Cast this back out there. Oh, the heck was that fish? Oh my gosh, I just had a nice one. There he is again. Is that the same one? Oh, he's caught up in the grass. I still have him. Oh my... What the heck? It's a bluegill. What in the... F Okay, um, I've literally never caught a bluegill on a drop shot. I know it's not, I'm not, I know it's not, not normal, but bluegill on the drop shot, healthy one too. There he goes. That was the last thing I was expecting, a bluegill on the drop shot. I guess I should have known because he was kind of fighting different, but there's a fish. Get him across the water. Oh man, I wanted to skid him across the water. I can't believe this right now. This, this cannot be happening. I'm catching so many things. Definitely smallest one of the day. I don't know what he's doing eating the minnow. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below if you would want to see more challenges. Um, like this and comment down below challenge ideas if you do want to see more and yeah see you in the next video peace